I wanted to talk about 25 items that you can list in the wedding and engagement category. But before I get into this video, if you are new to my channel, please hit the subscribe button and also the bell notification so that you do not miss out on any future videos that I will be uploading. Also, stay tuned for my next video, which is going to be about what to do when you feel that your niche is oversaturated. Because I'm telling you, nothing is oversaturated and no one can do it like you. And I have a lot of ideas about that. So let me jump right into the video. Now, there are a lot more than 25 items to do for weddings and engagements for printables, but I'm going to stick with just 25. You can feel free to leave more down in the comment section below. However, this would be, you know, a five hour long video if I just kept on going. So I thought I would stick with just 25. Also, if you have not yet joined my Facebook group, on Facebook, you can find it under Etsy Passive Income. Make sure you're searching under groups and make sure you answer the two questions and we will let you into the group. Okay, so I'm going to jump right into the vid video. I usually like to highlight somebody that I feel that their store is doing very well. Um, I'm not really a fan of using template, but I'm not going to go into that. This seller happens to use it, but she also has most of the items that I wanted to showcase for this video. So I'm going to go into the first one, and the first one is going to be obviously the wedding invitation. So if I go in here to her store, you can definitely find wedding invitations and you want to make sure that you can get as creative as you absolutely want for this wedding invitation. Now, I personally like to, unless they want it plain, just plain black and white, I personally like to add whatever their color theme is. Um, I know the trend today, they really don't have color themes as much. A lot of people still do, but some people choose not to have a color theme, which is why this one seems to be a good seller for the wedding invitation. Okay, so on to the next one. I'm going to jump back over here. And the next one is going to be a wedding planner. Okay, so I'm going to go over here because I had another tab open for some of the items that she did not have in her shop. So let's just take a look at this one right here. This is a wedding planner. So if you're going to be, you know, planning a wedding, it's very stressful and you're going to need a wedding planner. So you can make a different types of wedding planners and especially for my planner fans um, this is an excellent way to do this so you can make a wedding planner and put anything in there I would research it to make sure you have all of the information that you need to put inside of your wedding planner okay the next item here is going to be the menu Okay, so if I type wedding menu within this shop, you can come up with, you can get as creative as you want with this, and you can even find mock-up photos where you can put this on here. So you want to make sure that everything is in a theme and in certain colors. So on this particular one, I can guarantee that along with this menu, she has a wedding card and everything else to go along with this color theme right here. So whatever the menu is for the wedding, you want to do that. Okay, the next one that I want to research um, in her shop is 
the wedding sign, or I technically like to call them wedding posters. Okay, and I have done videos on the past on how to make a poster. I continue to get a lot of questions on this, but you can make um, a wedding poster. This is the first thing that the guests are going to see when they walk into the wedding. And once again, you can get as creative as you want with this and whatever their colors are or however they want this done, this is how you do this. You make a huge uh, wedding welcome sign. Okay, the other thing that I wanted to search for within this shop, let me get back in here, you can actually search within the shop, and that is going to be the uh, program. And it's the ceremony program. So you want to have whatever the program is going to be and what the itinerary is. So this is te technically the itinerary and the, also um, the ceremony program. So you want to make sure that you can do that. You can also do this with um, you can give them instructions and make a wedding program fan with a popsicle stick. So all they have to do is, or you know, all they would have to do is glue the popsicle sticks onto the fan and make the wedding itinerary or ceremony program, however you want to call it. Um, you can make the ceremony program into a fan as well. So you, it's however you want to do it. I highly recommend the more you list, the more that you're going to sell. So I would sell it in several different ways, several different colors, you name it. Also, um, let's go back here and let me search for the RSVP. You want to make sure that when you are selling a wedding card, you also want to include the RSVP card. Let me see if I can find a better one than that. Okay, this is something that you can sell in a bundle. You're going to sell the wedding invitation the RSVP and the itinerary in a bundle. And these are all printable. So you'll have the wedding invitation. You're going to have the reply or the RSVP. I highly recommend you also word this however you want to, to word this. Now, you know, if you've been following my videos, you know that I'm a huge fan of getting the details from your customer and you do the work for them. They're gonna be busy planning their wedding and the last thing they need to be messing with is filling out the information on their printables for their wedding. So get the information, all they have to do is just reply back to you, you do the work for them. So if you sell this in a bundle with the wedding invitation, the RSVP, and also the details of a wedding. This is another way that you can list it. Okay, something else that I wanted to show you, and I'm gonna get rid of some of these tabs up here at the top, so just bear with me here for just a second. Okay, so the next thing we wanna do is seating charge. And a lot of people will do seating charts so that they know where they're going to sit. Um, you can do this in a, several different ways. One of the ways is you can make a poster just like this, and this is the same thing as a wedding sign, and it tells you right here, you know, what table, table one, table two, you know, all the way up to table 11, and it has the names of where your seat is. And that is another thing that you can also offer. And then I wanted to get back into, and then there's other ways you can do this. I found a really cute way that 
I personally like, and it is this way right here. You make a big board and you put the table numbers separately with these cute little um, laundry, it looks like they're little um, laundry hang uh, clothes hangers, and you put them on like twine and then you hang them on a board and then people can see tables and you might even tell you know recommend that they make more than one copy and then people can actually grab a copy of this and then they can go straight to their table so that's another way to do that okay speaking of tables another thing that you can offer is table numbers and you can do this in so many different ways I mean I'm giving you a lot of ideas here however you can do all of these in so many different ways and so many different colors that that's why wedding is an engagement is a niche in itself so these are table numbers and when you look at these you can do these so many different ways um, these are table numbers that you can place on each table so that they are easy to find I highly recommend that you make these at least 8 by 10 so that the tables you know can be found however if you've been following all of my videos also offer it in several different sizes and you can do this in several different ways so um, I also like this one here that first one I just showed you was like a gold foil type um, stamped so I really like this one right here and um, once again you can make this in whatever size that your customer needs you want to make sure that you're providing excellent customer service okay so um, the next one I wanted to go with is wine and water bottle labels so when you're at your wedding you know regardless of if you're having you know a fully stocked bar or if you're having a rustic wedding whatever it is that you're having you want to make your wedding Etsy shop you want to make it appealing to all types of weddings you know not everybody is going to have need a seating chart you know some people are going to have a rustic wedding where they're just going to have it in a barn some people are going to get married in their house in front of their fireplace so you want to make sure that you're offering items to accommodate everybody so i'm going to go ahead and put this one here um one labels okay so here are the wine labels and also the water bottle labels and you can make these according to if you want to go out and purchase several bottles of wine you know especially as gifts or if you just want to place them on the tables however the bride and groom are wanting to do this so as you can see right here um, this is the water bottle labels they would just need to um, print this out on sticky paper and then they would apply it to the water bottles um, also the wine labels here here's one right here and once again the reason that the wedding and engagement niche is so um, such in high demand and there are so many people who do it is simply because there are so many options because you can take this wine label and you can make it in a thousand different ways fonts colors you name it so this is just a huge niche and it's very hard to cover in just one video so I'm just giving you some ideas here and this should really get your creative juices flowing to where you can do all of this you know and do this on your own okay so the next one that I wanted to go over um, is wedding bag labels for gifts okay so I'm gonna go ahead and go to the wedding bag labels
Okay, so a lot of people like to do this, um, especially if they're giving out small gifts or you know something like that they will make a label and once again this is something you can make in several different colors fonts and you can uh, put instructions that they need to print this out on sticky paper so that they can apply this to the brown paper bags and then you put um, a small gift in it you know whatever it is that you want to do okay um, also, I wanted to mention back to the itinerary, and some people call it an itinerary, and some people call it details. You can actually sell that separately, because once again, um, and you can sell all of these things separately. You don't have to sell it with the wedding invitation, because not all weddings are going to be formal. Okay, so there's another item. And then I'm going to go to another idea. I feel like I'm giving you guys a lot of ideas here. Um, okay, another item that you can sell is also labels for candles. And you can put these on the wedding tables. Now, I don't know that I'm crazy about this black and white one but then back to the very beginning of the video some people don't actually want to have colors they just want everything to be plain now there are several different you know ideas for this category you can make them on paper and once again this is just something with sticky paper that they can um, apply to a candle and is what I always do with just about anything. You can personalize anything, even, you know, um, hand soap bottles, and you just take a product, what I call Goo Gone, and you can remove the label, and you can put instructions in this in your um, listing on how to do that. Um, so you can purchase pre-made candles, and you can have them print, the labels on sticky paper and apply it to the candle and put several of these on the table that way it's sort of like a gift to give because you want to thank people for coming to your wedding um, another thing i wanted to show you here is the thank you tags you can also if you don't want to make the um sticky labels which i highly recommend that you do make them and also make this you can make thank you tags and you can also tie this around a, a small gift such as like a candle and place it on the table so all of these thank you items are you know great gift ideas and they're really inexpensive to do especially for the bride who wants to make them you know herself or have her team of people help her. Now I'm moving more on into the engagement part of this. Okay, so one of the other things that you can do is the bridal shower invitation, and that is very similar to the wedding invitation. And let me tell you, if you do an excellent job, your bridal on all of your engagement items, they will come back to you for their wedding items as well, which is what gets you repeat customers. So this is something else that I just wanted to show you. Um, the bridal um, shower is not really any different than the um, wedding invitation. It's just worded a lot differently. Um, they have this decorated and once again, you can do this in several different colors, however you want to do it. The next item that I wanted to talk about is making a photo booth. Now, let me tell you, this is no different than making a poster. Now, I'm considering this in my 25 because you can do this for a bridal shower and you can also make one of these for a wedding. This is no different than making a poster. So, you just leave this part right here uh, black. Trust me, I did this when my son turned 16. I ordered an Instagram photo booth, and this part right here was black. All I did is I took an X-Acto knife, and I cut out the middle, 
and I taped it onto some sturdy foam poster board and that is how we made this um, that's how we made this also a big thing with weddings now is they come up with their own hashtags so they'll want to get on Instagram and say hey make sure you hashtag you know whatever um, their wedding is and make sure no one else is using that hashtag that's something that they will probably come up with on their own it's not something that you need to do you can leave in the instructions you know let me know what your hashtag is and I'll include that on there as well now this is something that this is another item that I think that would apply to any wedding whether you're getting married at the courthouse in front of your fireplace or having a big extravagant wedding is to have people write down for you wishes for the bride and groom once again this is something that you can do in several different colors fonts you know whatever so this is just a neat little keepsake item for the bride and groom and especially people who have are coming to the wedding who have been married for you know 40 years they're going to put on here wishes for the bride and groom and i really like this um, idea a whole lot because it really applies to all types of weddings that you are going to have so this is an item i would say that would apply to all wedding types Another item that you can use at both your bridal shower, and now a lot of people are also having couples showers, and you can also do this at your wedding, is to, um, this is a milestone type thing. So this is to um, for everyone to write a message that can be read on their first anniversary. And this is just a great idea, and you can make this um, printable and put the name of the bride and groom down here you can put the name of the bride and groom and kind of put some lines and you know put this on here and then they can open this on their first anniversary so this is just a great idea for I think um, a bridal shower a couple's shower um, and also for the wedding itself. Some people, they might want to do it for both their um, shower and also for their wedding so that they can make sure they get as many notes. So like everybody who was unable to make it to the shower, other people can write this note as well and to be opened on their first anniversary. So the next thing I wanted to talk about is definitely the save the date card. Now you can do this one of two ways. You can do this like this where you're offering, you know, different types of colors and fonts, just like I like this one right here, and I really like this one right here as well. Really like in this one, it kind of has that rose gold look to it, which kind of offsets these beautiful flowers over here. A lot of people want a picture of them, and it's how you would do that in that case is that you would have them email you the picture that they want to use, for their save the date picture and then you would insert this into their save the date and you would put the information that you requested from them in that so you can do save the dates in one of two ways you can do it plain where it's just save the date where they can mail it out or if they want to include a picture you can have them email that to you and you want to do the work for them because they are planning a wedding and they've got a lot to do on their own. Okay, I'm getting close to the end here. Um, I could go on and on for like two hours, but no one is going to sit through that long of a video. Okay, another item that is going to be a great seller is bridal shower games. So you can put here, you can tell they have bridal bingo, and these are things that you can research on your own and then make your own type of thing so I think that these are really cute this is just a really cute um, idea and you want to put these games in a bundle so that they have several different games to play during their um, wedding shower or bridal shower when I say wedding shower that's because a lot of people are now including the groom in on the shower 
or sometimes they might have a bridal shower and then they might have a couple's shower. So you want to make sure that you uh, have games. The next item that you can do is make a cards and gifts sign that they can print out and put where the gifts and the cards are going to be left at the wedding. And, you know, once again, you can do this in so many different ways, however you want to do this. I just highly recommend with every single thing that you put into your wedding Etsy shop, make sure you're doing this in multiple different ways. I would also include in your instructions that you do take requests. So if they prefer something, you know, tell them that you will try to work with them and come up with how they would like it to be. So we have to have a place and a table where it says cards and gifts. So the next item that I wanted to talk about, and I don't really think that I have found a photo that I really like um, to go along with this, is um, you want to make, this kind of goes into the planner category. You want to make um, a sort of like a journal, but you want to put on the front and customize it for the new Mr. and Mrs. And it's a place where they can tape all of their wedding cards, um, photos of their honeymoon, you know, things like that. So you want to make um, like a book and you want to have several blank pages in addition to having like a few pages where they can write things in it and memories as they go along throughout their wedding. So this is just something that is, um, it's sort of like a planner, but just a little bit different. It's going to have a lot of blank pages that they can tape things to. Um, it's the cover. You want the cover to be personalized and have their wedding date, um, you know, Mr. and Mrs. And they can definitely put and all of their, you know, put all of their things in there for keepsake. Um, you can also make like a printable um, sticky where they can print it out on sticky paper and they can put these items into a box. So however they want to do it, I would offer it in all different ways. I'm telling you this because if you, the more that you offer and the more that you list, the more you are going to sell. The last item that I wanted to talk about, and this is something that I haven't really found too much on, you know, Etsy as far as something that I like that I would like to showcase. And this is just something, you know, a lot of times when people are having a wedding, they have no other option. They do have to bring their children. You know, we've all been to the wedding and we've all had the crying baby in the background and we really don't want that. So, you know, a lot of couples now who are getting married, they will, you know, have someone from their family or a couple of members from their family, um, like teenagers, offer to babysit. You know, if they're getting married in a church they or wherever it is, um, a hall, a rental hall, wherever it is, they will find a place for the children to go and they can be babysat. So another printable item that you can do is activities for children. And this is going to go to the babysitter who is watching the kids during the actual ceremony. Now, obviously, after the ceremony, um, the babysitters and also the children, they're all going to come out and join the reception. So I just wanted to kind of throw that out there that that is a, another idea that you can do. Now, once again, I know I did not hit every single item, but I'm going to leave it here. If you do want to add a few more items down here so that everyone else can see, just because I don't want this video to be five hours long, please comment that below. So thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to join my Facebook group. Um, Etsy Passive Income. You can find that by searching under groups, but you have to make sure you answer those two questions because myself and the moderators, we do not let you into the group unless you do because we do not allow any spam of any sort. It gets deleted immediately. 
Thank you so much for watching and I hope everyone has a wonderful day.